2020 was absolutely different than any other years I've experienced when it comes to emergencies or disasters. It was an entire year of different emergencies and disasters that really, really put a test on all of the planning and training that we did ahead of time. So from the, uh, the pandemic, obviously, that started in 2020, to what was a historic wildfire year for Arizona, uh, potentially one of the worst most active wildfire years the, the state had ever seen. There was a year of unprecedented wildfires, both in terms of how many there were and the scope and significance of the wildfires requiring evacuations. Uh, 2020 showed the average person absolutely needs to prioritize their personal preparedness. When you're talking evacuating from a wildfire during a global pandemic, traditionally you might be in congregate sheltering with the Red Cross and you weren't. Uh, so resources that traditionally might have been assumed to be available weren't. And so having a better understanding of your personal preparedness, having the emergency kit, the go bag, having your documents, your dog food and, and medication all ready to go uh, during 2020 was critical. Plan for uh, things that, that may happen, even if they are very unlikely, the fact that you need to plan for them no matter what the likelihood is, is, is key to making sure that you can be resilient uh, during a disaster and multiple disasters because it's likely that uh, you know there are, there are, if a flood happens there's going to be secondary effects of that if there's a fire that happens there's going to be secondary effects with that and you need to plan for those if you're not planning for those you are going to be a statistic.